Hey everyone, what's up? The Unpro Pro here, and welcome back to another episode of the Game Editor series. And in this episode, I'm going to go over running. So all the way down here, okay, just like somewhere in the empty void of emptiness, <laughs> uh, we're gonna add an if statement. I'm gonna go ahead and type it out right here. And that was a little test thing, and it didn't work out too well. <laughs> Needless to say, uh, go actually first go to variables here, and then click add, <clears throat> and then name it SPD. Okay, yeah, the practice, the recording I just did, like, failed miserably, <laughs> but it's okay. Anyways, uh, um, okay, what's the time out? Oh, yeah, we're going to add an if statement. All right, so now we're going to type in if key, key C equals, oops, I'm sorry, I forgot the uh, parentheses, all right, equals equals one, actually, you don't even need that, all you have to do is need if key C. That's really all you need. And then that. Um, four spaces, obviously, or whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter. Um, game editor should automatically do it for you, though, too, at the same time. I don't know. Anyways, SPD equals uh, 5. If not, what explanation mark is all you need? Okay, if, and then this little explanation mark right here. Okay, key. That's all you need. That stands for not. So, if not key, key C lowercase c by the way um, SPD equals 3 so we're gonna copy this right and then paste it like right in the, in the middle of nowhere and then uh, up here in your case 1 you see where it says x plus equals 5 change 5 to SPD now uh, where it says right here minus equals 5 in the case negative 1, negative one change 5 again to SPD click and there you go so now you can see we're walking, and now we're running by holding C. And there you go. That is how you make a running thing. Running man! Okay, actually, I'm going to make his running speed a little bit faster. All you have to do is go down here to change the 5 to about a 7. Just uh, walking, and now I'm running. Yeah. Now I'm running. Yeah. Yeah. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Jeez. So there you go. There's running. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little something else, too, while we're at it. Okay. Advanced variables. Not really advanced, but... <laughs> okay. I'm going to show you guys something. Um, and I'm also going to explain arrays, since we do have a lot of time, I guess. Okay. So to create a variable, there are different types. There are integers, which are these. Hold on. Let me go ahead and change the language. Uh, view, highlight mode, sources, C sharp. Okay, there are in, there's an int which is an integer. There's a double which can hold decimals like zero, point, whatever. A float is pretty much the same. Uh, um, ints cannot hold decimals; they're the solid numbers. So, uh, and then there's char, which are character variables that holds text. That holds text. Jeez, man. <laughs> okay, so yeah, they hold text and avoid. It are you voids are used to create functions so uh, right now we're, I'm, we're gonna create an array and I want to explain what an array is uh, <coughs> an array <coughs> well <coughs> I don't really know the exact definition but you can actually just Wikipedia it if you want there's a link in the description that will link you directly to it if you want to read up on it uh, my easy explanation is there are blocks that hold data so like this is a one dimensional array so you can have int air okay you can have array z 0 equals 25 uh, array 1 equals 50 and then you know whenever you want to say 25 the array 0 uh, that always will equal 25 or whatever you want to set it to it's, it's just like having a bunch of okay see how we have 50 right here it goes 0 to 49 if you have 50. It's one less than what you actually have because it actually starts with 0. Um, so you can have a total of 49, no, you, well, 50 because it starts with 0. So you can have a total of 50 different values um, in this array. So in one, one variable can hold 50 different numbers. Now if you had a second dimension, 50, so now you can hold 50 times 50. So let's Calculator. Let's see. Fifty times fifty. 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 Fifty times fifty.
times 50. Two, so now you can have a total of 2,500 uh, values. I think I did that right. Yeah. See, yep. And that's a lot of values. <laughs> you know, and that one variable can hold all of those values. So we're going to create a variable called int gvar. And this is, is uh, it'll stand for global variables. And it's going to have uh, 1,000 values. Oh well, no, we're not even going to use that much. So what are we going to use? Uh, during this tutorial, we're going to create... Well, we can always modify it, but for now, we're going to create... Well, not in this episode, but all, all together. Okay, health, score. Um, okay, health and score. So really, all we need is two, right? But not yet. So there's going to be a lot more. I know there is. Um, okay. <laughs> you know what? Why don't we store everything in here? No? Okay, just, just two for now, then. So two is all we're going to need. So gvar2. int gvar2. That's all you need for now. Okay. So name this vars and then click add. Okay. And then you can call like what, uh, whatever you want. The You know what? Uh, let's change the run button. Let's change the run button to control. Left control. And how you do that is you change key C to lctrl. Like that, LCTRL, all in caps. Just t uh, replace the letter C with LCTRL. That's all you need, I think. Yeah, that's okay. And then uh, now, when you hold Control, you can run and then X to jump. And I think that's like a lot more easy because like your pinky is on Control, your middle finger is on X, and yeah, it's like a lot more comfortable because they're gonna have C for another thing in the future. Okay. Now let me explain macros. A macro is something where you can okay, uh let's see if I can explain it. Number macro one, a number sign and then macro one. Uh wait, number sign yeah. No, I'm sorry, wow, I just totally messed it up. Number sign define. Yeah, a number sign and then define. So sharp define um uh, my macro uh, would mean gvar zero. So therefore, whenever you type in, if you do that, when you type in my macro, you're actually typing in gvar zero. You know, it's the same thing as typing that. So we're gonna make a variable number define hp, and then it's gonna be gvar zero, and number sign define score gvar one. Make sure it's case sensitive. So you, and don't you don't have to worry about uh, semicolons there either. Uh, so yeah, and name these macros. Name this macros and click add. So now, um, like whenever you want to add something up, you know here I'll show you. For now, okay, let's go ahead and create a text variable. Uh, name it txt. Then click text or not variable actor so click add actor make it normal and then name them txt click them and then click text uh, go here new font true type and as you can see it's I have to go here and then I have to go to <laughs> uh, visitor one yeah I'm gonna go to visitor one you can select whatever font you want um, there's a ton of fonts on 1001fonts.com or anything like that you know you can find all kinds of online fonts um, anyways, I found the visitor somewhere. I can't remember where I found it, but credit goes to them, whoever created it. It's a very awesome font. Okay, so, zero, 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 type in zero. There are two ways to do this. There's the easy way, and then there's a the not so easy way that's also quite easy once you get to know it. Okay, the easy way is go to draw actor and then type in text number equals score. And that's all you need to do. Okay. So now, it's obviously going to be equaling zero, so we're going to need some kind of a test So to test the variables and see if they're working. So go to key down, up, and then enable, and then type in score plus equals five. I don't know. Yeah, score plus equals five. And there you go. The more you hold up, as you can see the score going up. <coughs> and what I like, I personally, I like the uh, text number way. But uh, let me show you a little secret. If you go to draw actor and you just instead, and if you instead here, let me go ahead and show you how that looks. That looks like that. But if you type in this, 
Okay, you do sprint f text, and then you do score percent d percent sign and then d uh, comma and then then you type in score and end it off like that. Now let's see what that does. This is my favorite way of doing it. It ty actually types, or not types, but it actually tells you the score somewhat in real time. I mean, obviously, not in real time. Jeez, I, I can't even talk right. Man, I'm losing it. <laughs> okay, it tells you the score. Like, it, it places text. So whatever you typed, and then a percent %d is the actual variable. You can also do percent %i if you want to. If you want to. All right, so, yeah, there you go. And there's that. Or you can also combine them, I think. I'm going to try something. I have not actually tried this yet. Um, zero, 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 zero. So, just get rid of... I'm, okay, uh, I'll go ahead and type this out and to get it thing here in a second. Text number equals score. I haven't actually tried this, but it might work. I don't know. Not that it's really important or anything, but... No. Okay. No, <laughs> it does not work. All right, so there you go. Uh, let me go ahead and fix that up. Here, I'll show you the percent %i version. It's the exact same thing, I believe. Percent %i and then score. I, I always use percent %d most of the time. But yeah, it's the same thing. All right, guys, so that's that. And in the next episode, I will go over, I don't know, maybe screen scrolling or something. Alright guys, thank you for watching. See you next time.